Yes. Okay, I may leave now real quick. Okay. I felt some type of way when she just said. All right, Ra Ramon. Ramon, that's me. Mm -hmm. All right. How you doing? How are you? Good. I'm doing good. Can't complain. I felt some type of way when you just said to Melly, like, who she should have left you in the, in the chat with. <laughs> <laughs> Outside, shout outside, though. Outside, oh, you not? know how I feel. Dating is a battlefield. <laughs> but, I mean, it's kind of late. I'm not gonna hold your time up. I just wanted to ask you if you were happily single or single and content. Because, you know, you can be like single and chilling or you're single and content, not really looking for nobody to kind of enter your space. So, how you feel mm -hmm. about that? I'm single and. Ew, this is so cool. But I feel, this is the first thing that popped in my head. I feel more single and, like, open to mingle than, like, single and chilling. Because I just started dating, like, within the past, like, year. I never really, like, actively been, like, open to people talking to me. Like, I've typically one of them girls who just be like, thanks so much. You have a blessed day, you know? So for the first time, I feel like the past, few months I've been like open to like talking and having those conversations and figuring out what I like and what I don't like and like having those experiences gotcha. um, what about you are, are you single are you happy and single are you single and looking I mean to be honest I, I feel like men don't speak out when they're abused in relationships too um like mm -hmm. so I had to do like a bunch of healing and kind of like you know like when and kind of like built on my spirituality and kind of like, you know, just learn how to be, you know, like by myself. So I would say I'm like not single and happy or single and content. I've just embraced solitude in terms of like, just like loving myself more. Now, I'm not opposed to having the comfort of a woman, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a man, I still need that. You know what I'm right. saying? You know, if she contributes to my life, like, pursue me, then fine. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I, I would say I'm neither of the two. But, um, Do you feel like you're easily um, meaning of the word? Like, do you feel like you're easily put in a like submissive? I was going to say like beta position, but like more like a submissive position. Like, are you easily overtaken? Mm -mm. It wasn't nothing like that. I just felt like you know when you love someone, you kind of open up and kind of like you are that dominant figure that she can be led by. But some women don't know how to take that. So they kind of like either like, you know what I'm saying? Like do some stupid shit. Like my past relationship, she was still tied to her ex in some kind of ways. So I just mm -hmm. dipped out, like I left, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't linger where I don't belong no more. You feel me? So right. I'm definitely not the type to be, um, you know, submissive. I can be vulnerable, of course. I feel like there's beauty in that, but Nah, uh, like men are born leaders for a reason and women can be too, you know, but, you know, like, yeah, so I would say I'm neither of the two, so. All right. Well, thank you for talking to me. Pineapple is my lead. Thank you. Okay. What, what, you didn't feel like he was uh, masculine enough for you? Uh, I just feel like that's such an improper term. I don't, I don't want to say that. 